A very warm welcome and namaste to all my viewers. In this video, we will try to understand that why Mercury gives its best results in the 12th house. Please note, this planetary house placement has to be taken as per the Cusp chart or KP chart, not Lagan chart. Now, why I am using Cusp chart to understand that you must read my article on Cusp chart, which is there on my website. Now, before going into the reasoning part, I want to share a few facts with you all. See, Sun never asks anything in return for the light which it gives to the whole world. Water or gel never asks anything in return to quench the thirst of the whole world. Air or Vayu, which we all breathe, never asks for anything in return. Earth or Dhara, which provides sustenance to all, also never asks anything in return. In short, Anyone who has the power of giving, in true sense, is always considered as great, legend and even worshipped. Now 12th house, which is generally considered as the house of loss, in the materialistic perception. From the spiritualistic angle, it is actually the house of detachment. And true detachment converts the person into a great giver. The person who completely understands the depth or significance of giving certainly becomes eligible for getting enlightenment or moksha, which is also governed by 12th house. Secondly, Mercury basically governs our intelligence of buddhi. Indeed, the ruling deity of Mercury, that is Lord Vishnu, who has the prime responsibility to sustain this world, is also considered as supreme giver. In other words, the person who uses his or her intelligence or buddhi in giving by the grace of Lord Vishnu, that person automatically achieves a status which is even greater than the status of a king himself. Hence, presence of Mercury in the 12th house transforms the person into a legendary giver to the limit that a said person is even worshipped by the people. Of course, holistic analysis of the chart is essential before giving any kind of prediction. Here you all must be thinking that why Nikhil is not talking anything about the sign which Mercury should occupy. So friends, if Mercury happens to occupy its exaltation or own of friendly signs, then obviously that would be an added advantage. But you all must keep one point very clearly in your mind, that is the half placement of planets hold much more importance than any other factor in astrology. And that is why I am discussing house placement here, instead of discussing Mercury's effect in 12 different signs. Mercury also gave good results in the 2nd, 10th, 11th houses. Here for your information, people like Russian President Mr. Putin, Great Emperor Vikramaditya, Great Emperor Chandragupta Maurya, Sultan of Brunei Hassan Bolkiya, King Muhammad Ali Pasha, Emperor Kuan Long, and many other top-notch leaders, kings, emperors have their Mercury placed in the 12th house as per the Cusp chart. Lastly, the placement of Mercury in the 12th house is more desirable than its aspect. That is, the placement is always more powerful than aspect. Thanks for watching and Namaste once again.